are your own personal fitness trainer. So, as your own personal fitness trainer, we need to touch on an area that really matters. And while this might not affect some people, it does affect a lot of people. And the subject is triggers that sabotage your weight loss efforts. And you might not even know you're doing it. So, that's what I'm going to address in this video. So, I want you to stay tuned. So, as always, I always get lots of good information from my personal training website. And actually, I did videos on this earlier, on my uh, earlier videos on YouTube. And I want to address it again. So, let me tell you what some of the triggers are. There are different ones. There's substance triggers, situational, behavioral, and circumstantial triggers. And you need to know what they are. But today, we're only going to address um, a few because it's a little bit more in depth. And then later on, I'll do more future videos on it. But let me start with this. Let me tell you what a behavioral trigger actually is. So, here's what it is. A trigger is any person, place, thing, situation, or food that has a tendency to cause one to overeat. So, I want you to think on that one first, because most people aren't even aware of it. Okay, so I'm going to refer to my paper, my article, and give you some examples of the behavioral trigger. So um, they're talking about here that after you've had a long, stressful day, you know, and you come home from work, and they're saying all of a sudden you grab um, a sleeve of crackers and cheese and a knife and a family-sized bag of M&Ms, and they have here fruit and trail mix and a diet drink, and it said you bring them to the sofa and you watch TV, and before you know it, uh, it's like 10 o'clock and you look at all your food and you munched on all of it and uh, you don't even have any leftovers so then you're sort of like wow I eat a lot of food and sometimes you don't even realize you ate all that food so uh, that's an example of uh, a behavioral trigger now they give you some other examples so they say that behavioral triggers, they involve the act of eating with a specific kind of activity simultaneously. And it's, they say you can eat and eat, but not realize how much you're eating while you're doing that activity. And uh, it said, sometimes, it said in some cases, you don't even care how much you're eating because your mind is elsewhere, okay? So, again, awareness. You want to take note if you're doing something like that. Um, and then they say, sometimes also a person may want to engage in unconscious eating. And because it would be an escape and a stress reliever. But obviously the problem is when the weight starts to pile on. And you wonder, why aren't you ever losing any weight? Okay, and I have here, um, another type of behavioral trigger is doing computer work while eating, or eating during a long business meeting where there's an endless supply of food there, or reading a book and eating at the same time. So you're seeing it's an activity of some sort, and uh, you're accessing larger amounts of food and not really realizing what all you're taking in and how they can sabotage your weight loss efforts. So, uh, they go in here on the article and they're telling you, you have two choices. So your first choice is, you can continue on the way you've been going, continue to gain weight and be in denial as to there's any problem, or 
you can make a decision that you need to make some changes. Don't worry. It may seem difficult, but it's something that you can do. All right, so um, the bottom line is you have to put a plan into action in order to change that behavior in some way. And we'll address that later, but for now, I just wanted you to be aware of the behavioral trigger and start looking at some things you might be doing. And then later, we'll talk about the substance trigger, the circumstantial trigger, and what's the other one? There's one more. The situational trigger. So, I did want to say, before I end this video, I did want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers because I do appreciate it. And uh, I'm happy to have you. And I hope my videos are doing some good because that's the goal. And uh, to keep you interested on YouTube for my videos. And uh, I thank you. And if you're new, you can subscribe here because it is free on YouTube. And please, if you like my videos, click that like button. That's important for us in comment. And to end, I have some quotes for you. So, my quotes for you today, I'm gonna get two quotable magnets off the uh, refrigerator here I have in my fitness studio because they're good ones. So, so first one is life begins at the end of your comfort zone. with this subject that we're talking about is you might have to, to make changes, get out of your comfort zone. People don't like doing that. But, you hear what it says? Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. In order to be better, you have to get out of that comfort zone dare to do something different. Okay, the other one is, if I can get it unstuck, is just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Here's what that's saying is, right now, because maybe you are doing that and you can't lose the weight, you're a caterpillar. But you're going to be a butterfly. You're gonna metamorphosis into one. But first things first, you have to take care of the matter at hand first. So, Think on that, because I know you can do it. You can do it. We're going to talk more on that later and address what you need to put into play. So, till next time in my next workout video, I'll see you and ta-ta!